for me or for Alliance Sud, climate justice is an integral approach to the climate emergency. We're talking about the climate emergency, not just climate change. It's an emergency because um, we have to address the root cases of the climate um, change uh, crisis, but at the same time we also have to address uh, the effects and adverse effects um, mostly on the most vulnerable people in the, in the global south. Climate justice takes as its starting point a really unfortunate um, reality of climate change, which is that the people who are being hit first by the effects of climate change are the ones who least contributed to it. Um, often we see poor communities that have no greenhouse gas emissions, but they're directly in the line of sight for um, storms, for droughts, for floods. And for us, the rights of those communities and their solution sets are the heart of climate justice. We want to make certain that they have the voice and power that they need to solve this problem for their communities. Climate justice for the Oak Foundation is really putting people at the center of our programming and putting people at the center of responses. So climate justice is approaches of focusing on the people who are most impacted by climate change. And for us, that tends to be indigenous peoples, women, and young people. Um, these are the people who often have the means, some of the strategies to adapt best that we can learn from, but they're also the people who are most effective. This is very much about connections, connections in terms of um, women's rights and farmers' activities and um, high-tech things that I don't know very much about. Um, there's, there's a lot of intersectionality in the work that we do and the solutions that our grantees are coming up with. It's very important that we that we do adapt our programs, our projects, and also our policies to those who suffer the most, to those who are most affected by climate change.